Hello and welcome to another sketchbook video. Today we're going to be using the minimum of materials and by that I mean just one pencil. So I've chosen the Caran d'Ache Luminance in Payne's Grey. This is fast becoming one of my favourite pencils and it's actually the pencil I used to do these sketches the other day. I'll show you how much I've used this pencil since I got it. I've only been using it for probably a couple of weeks and if I show you the size of a normal Caran d'Ache Luminance pencil compared to, <laughs> so I'm just seeing that I've got these in shop properly, there we go, yeah you can see how much I've used that already but I am really loving these pencils, I'm hoping to do a video where I go into more depth about the pencils, um, all the different colours I have and and how I use them, the different ways I use them. So um, yeah, that will be coming up when I have a chance to record that at some point in the future. What we're going to be doing is using a website called MapCrunch. Now this seems to be something that quite a few illustrators are using and it's basically a selection of images, thousands and thousands of images from Google Street View around the world. And you go to the site, mapcrunch.com, you press the green go button and it will give you an image. It could be from anywhere in the world. It will be some scene, whether it's um, a countryside or more rural scene, or it could be in a town or city. You just never know where you're going to end up. And I've been using that to draw from. It's great if you need inspiration or just something to draw, like you sit down and you don't know what to draw go on map crunch because you will be inspired. The great thing is you can also narrow the search to just one country. So for these, I chose the UK and I chose one image from Scotland, one from Wales and one from England. But what I'd like to do today is actually work on some more buildings because I feel like I need practice with buildings and I'm actually going to do, I'll show you what else I did during the week. Now, <laughs> these are what I'm calling my wonky houses. So I started drawing this from an image I found on Map Crunch. Um, well, first of all, I started drawing this one and you can see that it went really quite wonky very quickly. But do you know what? There's something about it I really like. Um, I didn't want to continue with it because I thought I'll try again so that's where this one came in and this one's wonky as well and then I decided I'm actually really liking the wonky houses I don't want my houses to be perfect and so I thought I'm going to embrace the wonkiness so today we're going to turn over the page and we're going to fill another page full of different houses and we're not going to worry whether they're wonky so if you want to draw along with me, please do. If you don't, if you just want me on in the background while you do something else, I'm happy with that too. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to get started. So I'm going to find my first image on Map Crunch and we'll start drawing some more wonky houses. You can see the corner of my laptop there because I've just put it on the desk in front of me where it's easier for me to see. And because my desk is full of stuff again, there's not enough room to push it right back. So we're just going to, to deal with that. Right, this is like a little stone cottage. So let me have a go. I always feel a bit nervous when I first start. So you'll have to forgive me if I sound a bit strange <laughs> and I'm a bit hesitant. Right, we're gonna do it and we're not going to care if it's wonky because it's all about the fun of drawing. Oh, this one's at an interesting angle as well because you can't see the roof very well. Mm, how am I gonna do this? Oh yeah, by the way, for the other um, drawings, I actually didn't allow myself to use an eraser. The roof looks like it's at a really weird angle, but that's because the photo is at a weird angle. I didn't think this one through, did I? 
I should have chosen something a bit easier. Well, this is gonna be a real wonk fest. How am I gonna do this? Um, oh well, we'll just have to accept that we're looking at it from a funny angle. A wide chimney, so sometimes you will get some funny angles on Google Street View, and actually, it's quite fun, so don't let that put you off. How's it looking? couple of little chimney pots and one is taller, quite a bit taller than the other. So this isn't funny angles, this is just, <laughs> I think, the way it is. And that one's chopped off, so I can't actually see the top of that, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna just do that there. Um, Right, the little roof is quite dark, so I'm just going to fill that in. I should have sharpened my pencil a bit better. I might have to pause to sharpen it in a minute. Yeah, I'm allowed to sharpen my pencil. I'm just not allowed to really rub anything out. The good thing about this is... Sorry, I just like to rid of the little <laughs> dusty bits. I'm sorry I keep blowing. Um, okay, it's not looking too bad. It's not looking too bad. We're quite happy with that. I think we're going to have to... That's not correct, is it? We need to go up to there. There we go. Right, and it has... So It's a very symmetrical house, actually. Um, I think I'm just going to make, because the roof overlaps a little bit here. I'm just going to make that go like that. Yeah, I really do need to sharpen this pencil. Right, um, let's put the windows in. I'm just doing them really simply. I'm not going to concentrate too much on detail. Um, I think the window should have been a bit higher, but we won't worry about that. We're just going to enjoy the act of drawing. This is a nice because it has a little it's got a little bush here that's really neatly trimmed. This looks like such a well cared for little cottage. It looks like the kind of little cottage that I sort of dream of owning one day. I don't know whether any of you know that it's actually one of my dreams or ambitions to own my own little cottage. So, some interesting bushes going along there. So we'll just, I'm sorry if I'm shaking the camera. I know I always say this, but when I start scribbling, it shakes the camera. That's a bit annoying, but there's not a lot I can do about it at the moment. Till I figure out a slightly different way of working. I'm 
gonna stick a little tree in here because there is actually one on the picture. I think it must be a lot of people's dream to live in a beautiful little cottage in the countryside. I'm sure that several of you feel the same way as well. Right, we also need a little lower windows and we should have a little bit of shadow under here too. I mean I don't want to put in too much in the way of detail but it needs a little bit of shadow. Um, right so we have a little door, I can't see the door very well and there are some more little bushes, slightly smaller, but just like the other one, like a little box hedge that's been trimmed. It's so cute. I love a mix of like, when then in a garden where there are wild areas and more manicured areas and there's some little bushes here trying to keep this quite simple we've got also a little drain pipe going down like that Almost, almost finished with our first little, little wonky house. I do kind of like him. Should we leave him like that? Another map crunch image somewhere in England. This one was in England. I don't know whether I mentioned that, but yeah, this one is also somewhere in England. So we are going to start. It's actually like from the other side this time <laughs> and it has more windows. So this will be a challenge. I find it so hard to talk while I'm working. And actually, I want to talk to you about the new art club I've set up, which I am very excited about. Some of you may remember that I used to have um, a Patreon and I did that for a few months for reasons we won't go into at the moment. <laughs> I mean, if any of you are really curious, you can message me, um, email me or something. But I stopped using Patreon back at the end of June and I wanted to find an alternative platform. And I know some of my patrons, they were kind of like, um, they were really sad that I closed my Patreon and they wanted some, you know, they said if you start up again somewhere else, let us know and and we will happily join you on there. Well, I found it. Um, I'm on Kofi, which is K-O hyphen F-I. <laughs> um, and initially, now I always thought that this site, the Kofi site, was for like one-off donations, like people, you know, they enjoy your work or your videos or whatever. They, it's kind of like a little tip jar 
and they they give you the price of a cup of coffee that's the general idea and um, sorry I'm <laughs> it's terrible I find it so hard to talk and draw it's like if I'm talking I'm not really drawing very fast yeah, so I thought it was just like, you know, they give you a little donation and it's just to show their appreciation of your work or your content or whatever. And um, and that does seem to be the case still, but also if you upgrade to a gold membership on there, which I've done, you can run a monthly membership so i have set up my monthly art club on there and this time i love it because i have much more of a clear vision of what i want to do and what i want it to be and it's basically three pounds a month and for that you get extra videos so if you enjoy my YouTube videos, if you enjoy the sketchbook time videos, I'm actually going to be doing an extra long sketchbook time for my Kofi subscribers, the members of my club. They get an extra one, an extra long one every month. Um, what else do they get? Oh yes, this will be where I'm hosting my in-depth art lessons as well. And I've been wanting to find a place to host these for a while. And I just thought, oh, I'm going to sell them through my website. But now I have my monthly membership club. This is the perfect place. I'm actually making this house, weirdly, look smaller than the one. <laughs> and actually, this is a larger house in reality than that one. But you know what? This is the fun of the wonky houses. You never know how they're going to turn out. Um, yes, I'll be hosting um, art lessons on there, in-depth art lessons, and I'm sharing a lot more of my process. So if you enjoy watching my process on YouTube, you will really love what I'm going to do on Ko-fi. And it will only be um, visible to supporters and members, and some of it is only visible to members, if that makes sense because people can still support me if they want to send a little donation but not subscribe monthly. They get to see some of the content for 30 days after their donation. Whereas members get to see absolutely everything I do on there. Um, I am putting some stuff up that's public but really it's not very much of the behind the scenes kind of stuff. Anyway, I'll be recording lots of little extra videos. I've already put one up and I'm um, showing some new art supplies that arrived last week and that I'm going to be showing on my YouTube soon. But the art club members got to see a preview, which was quite nice, where I just kind of talk them through what I'd ordered and they also can tell me what kind of content they'd like to see so I'll be making some videos um, some of them were asking about um, going into depth about certain art materials and techniques and so on anyway I'm not really describing this brilliantly because apparently my brain can only do one thing at a time and that thing appears to be drawing rather than talking unless I'm just sort of like saying the odd sentence here and there about what I'm doing I find it quite difficult Sorry, I went very quiet there for a bit. 
because I was just trying to concentrate. It's funny how some days it's easier to talk and work and other days it's like your brain needs to um, use all of its power <laughs> just to just to work rather than talk. This house has quite a lot of bushes. I can't really see the front door on this one because it has lots of actually like little little conifer trees as well as bushes. Um, yes, anyway, what was I saying earlier? Yes, so if you'd like to check my Kofi out, I will try to remember to put it on the screen or in the description beneath this video. Um, and you can go and have a look and see exactly what you get because I'm not describing it very well. It's going to be a really nice, I hope, I mean I've had several people join up already. So we have already a nice little community on there. Small, but I hope it will grow. And I have lots and lots of exciting plans for what I want to do on there. So it's basically for anyone, whether you're a beginner or a sort of more established artist, it's for anyone who wants to create art and would like to have monthly inspiration I don't know, lessons, tips, advice, all of that kind of thing. And we'll just basically create art together and we'll talk about art and we'll talk about art materials. And I'll be testing out lots. I've invested quite a bit of money recently into lots of new art materials because I wanted to push my work on into a slightly different direction whilst retaining my style. I'm going to be testing them out on this channel and also on Kofi as well. So I will obviously always, um, I'll always make videos for my YouTube channel and obviously these are free um, but it takes me an awful lot of time to make videos and at the moment I'm not earning anything from the video making so it's nice to have an art club on the side where I can hopefully earn a little bit of extra side income while I make a lot of what I hope will be inspiring and interesting content and I can take a little bit more time over that and make some really interesting videos. Right, do you know what? I think we might be nearly here with this this lovely house. Okay, there was a slight interlude there where I searched for another house and I didn't want to make it too similar to these ones so I've actually found a sort of more modern bungalow in Northern Ireland. So we're gonna give that a go. Right, so this is something really quite different. Let's see what I can do with this one. Absolutely loving doing these sketchbook videos. I find them really relaxing and and also very inspiring because it is just making me draw, which as you probably know if you've watched them before, I didn't used to do. Oh yes, one thing I want to do with my art club, by the way, is I actually have a private Instagram which you can gain access to um, when you're a member of the art club. I mean, it was one that I used for my studio account, so it has some followers um, from when it was a public account. 
but um, I shouldn't have drawn <laughs> the roof there really because the chimneys come down like that but we'll just ignore that this is good thing it's only a sketchbook drawing um, Yes, yeah, so anyway, I have made that private. The Natasha Newton Studio account on Instagram has been made private. And I'm only accepting people who are either supporters or members on Ko-fi into that account now. Obviously my main account, Natasha Newton Art, is public. And so you can, you can follow me there if you like. But I'd love it if you actually became an art club member that would be brilliant because I get to know some of you a little bit better on there I think which is nice um, but yeah you gain access sorry gain access <laughs> I told you I couldn't speak didn't I when I'm working you gain access to the um, the private Instagram account and I'm thinking we need a hashtag for the club so that this has got shadows by the way shadows of the chimneys going up the roof um, yeah I thought then we can all share our work in, within the hashtag and then I can see all of your work which would be lovely those of you who are my members, if you want to share it, you don't have to share it, of course. There's no hard and fast rule. If you feel like sharing, you can. If not, no problem. If you just want to be an observer and just quietly do your own work. I mean, we don't have like Zoom meetings or um, we don't get together to draw like that. Well, not at the moment anyway. I don't know what will happen in the future. Now, that line shouldn't be there. What am I going to do about that? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do that. <laughs> that kind of blends it in a little bit, doesn't it? Right, this bungalow. It has a very big window. Just one really big window at the front here. Yeah, this really is a wonky house, isn't it? This one has gone full on wonk. This thing about me buying lots of new art materials, I have spoken a bit about it before. But um, it started out as a way of kind of celebrating reaching 100,000 followers at the end of July on Instagram. And I wanted to do something. I did a giveaway on there, by the way. The winner's artwork is all packaged up and ready to send. And she was so pleased to have won. It was really nice. Um... She lives in Scotland, so it'll be on its way to Scotland. So yeah, I ran a competition on there for my followers to celebrate reaching 100k. I wanted to do something for myself as well. So that's when I decided that I would invest in some new art materials. Because I mean, it's quite a big deal, isn't it, to reach 100k? It deserves to be acknowledged. So that's what I did and I thought the best way to celebrate it would be to get new materials and really push myself. In my work and try and do something a little bit different. Oh dear this is this is really, this is going quite wrong. Well, you see the good, the bad, <laughs> and everything in between.
So I think we'll end that one there. It's not perfect, but do you know what? As a little page in my sketchbook of wonky houses, I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to say goodbye and thank you for watching. And I think there'll probably be some cuts and edits in this video because it's actually gone on for quite a long time. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Check out my Kofi Art Club. I'm going to remember to put the link in the description. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought, what you'd like to see, what you're drawing or painting at the moment. And I'll see you again in the next video.